After a very long time, I'll back with the videos over my devices for the custom rooms and all the things. So this is now the Evolution X latest custom room, which is of version 7.7 .7 launch on for my Redmi Note 10, also called Mojito. So I'll be giving its full and final review of this room. I'll be using it for three days. So let us see how does it performs. As you can see that in, I'm the about section of the phone and you can see that it is based on Android 13. It is clearly beautiful Android 13 Easter egg. Evolution X version is 7.7 .7, .7, as you can clearly see. This is the Android security update of March 5th in the current version of first course super fast. I'll be giving a suggestion that if you have a custom room that is having lags then you must flash the west coast super fast kernel it does not have any issues it promotes greater performance in your devices Th build cleaner is the tejas kamas thanks tejas for maintaining this awesome room ceiling status is enforcing so you don't want to face any sort of issues this is the overall look of the evolution x custom room you are equipped with the new changes over there as you can see that subtle changes have been mentioned over this device now let us move forward and talk about the smoothness and the what do you say performance of this device so i'll be talking about the smoothness as you can see that i'm opening closing an application and there is no sort of lag so ever even i quick panel layout check it out you can see that there is no issues with the searching over the qs and lagging any sort of is not given over here and if i generally talk about the benchmark performance as you can see i have run 3d mark application over there also and this is the result of the slingshot test as you can see that and this is the wildlife extreme test in a slingshot it does not perform very good fps only 51 fps so i'm not happy with the fps scores of the physical test now talk about the next benchmark that i have took so far and if you talk about the safety net status the safety net status just pass and there isn't an issue with that also. CTS profile also does pass. Now, if you talk me about the Geekbench scores and results over there, so I would like to share you about, this is the Google Photos is spoofing over there. You can see that this pixel can unlimited backup photos and videos. This is a CPU throttling test. And as you can see that 82% max performance and max is 143 GIPS. I'm not happy with this score, but overall no issues with that. So this is the DRM info in the Netflix app and you get the Wildvine L1 support over there also. And you are get also getting the call recording options over this custom room. So you are no issues with this. You can easily run. This is the Geekbench results. I am happy with your results. No issues with the results. The results are too good. Now let's move forward to talk about in the settings itself and what we are getting over. Yes, so first of all, this is the evolver section for the customizations in the theming settings. You can see that here is the options of monet also. The theme style you can select according to you. Expressive, if you click on that. The theme style automatically gets changed. You can see that color so you can select the preset over there and preset you can select like if I generally select green and you can see that after a few time its screen gets changed over there. So you can it totally depends on you how you design for your device and you can see that it completely turns into the white. Here you can tint over there. Lock screen clock style is also there. If I generally do select uh, like Rubik one and lock the screen, you can see that the clock style has been changed over there. So it totally depends. There is much of the clock style is being available like uh, hot sweet. And if I lock the screen, you can see this whenever I enable that it works. So no issues with that also. And let us talk about the icon pack. This is all normal things. Lock screen, clock format, headline body font normal things is being over there now in the part of status bar everything does performing fine i have double cross checked over there and everything does surpasses finally now if you talk about the power menu you get the bunch of options over there you can see that and this way all working no issues with this animations if i click screen of animation crt and yeah it's working and no issues that you're gonna face. This is a miscellaneous section of the game space. Game space does not provide much good performance. In my uses, FPS in games is also given there. And guys, if you're watching 
and guys if you're still watching this video then please 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 gonna subscribe watching this video then please please gonna subscribe to my channel and also give a thumbs up to this video this is the source cpu info is also there and usb configuration you can set according to your usage and this is there is nothing new to talk about above here if i generally go to apps you get the pixel launcher over there so nothing new in the battery section you can get the battery usage of mine and the idle battery drain is also good no issues with that pixel battery usage chart is also there you can use it according to uses battery charging warning is there it will gonna restrict over a via sound sleep mode is there design capacity and everything has been mentioned over there battery optimization is given smart charging also it, it will gonna restrict your battery to charge over certain limit display option nothing new is been mentioned over there and one thing i would like to talk about is screen saver this is the screen saver if i uh, used to go uh, while charging and while charging in dock so it will gonna work i have checked that uh, if i show you then it will not possible right now but it is working so you can also try out wallpaper and styles is also been there there is shortcuts over there flashlight and everything as you can see that here is the option of the flashlight also been present over there security options given out there fingerprint and face unlock is also been working in this room now this is the system option gestures over there and nothing new is mentioned over there languages in input and in the app languages there are much app languages support is also present in this room so you can change there is an updater which means it is uh, got a official update so far in this device so this is all for my review if i generally told you then you must install this custom room on your device if you sort of bored via miui it just kills the what do you say miui performance and gives you much better smoothness stability battery and everything so i be going to highly recommend that if you are also using a banking apps you can also use that so if you really did enjoy the watching this video you going to know you have to just give a thumbs up to this video and subscribe to this channel so my name is arav i'll be going to meet you in the next video till then bye bye